I have a pretty unique problem. Today we're going to tackle it. Um, I've got a giant CNC machine, not something everybody has, and I make videos. So what I do in videos is I want to record the CNC router cutting wood so you guys can see it. I like to watch videos of that stuff, so I like to make them too. Normally, the dust collection system that's on it, you can see the hose coming down, has this on it, and this hangs down, you have your end mill here, this hangs down and it helps gather up that dust and send it up into the vacuum. Problem is, you can't see through this. So when I film, I take this off, dust gets everywhere, I gotta take the vacuum hose off and hold it, or bring a shop back in and hold that up to it. So I thought I would design a new thing to clamp on there that would actually suck up the the, uh, the dust, maybe not as well as this, but good enough so that I can film without making an insane mess. So let's jump into Fusion 360 and I'll show you what I designed. And voila, here it is. Now, I've already held this up to the machine and noticed a huge problem. So let me show you why this first print that you just saw happen won't work. Now, this looks like it should work, except the spindle sticks through in this old cup I'm using for uh, my dust collection sticks through. And this is flat. Now I can move this down a little bit so the spindle wouldn't be an issue, um, but this would still be an issue. Not gonna work. So, back to the drawing board to modify the design a little bit. So, here's the new one, hot off the press. Beautiful. Ooh, ah. Okay, and the cool thing about the new one is it clamps right in. So the idea here is that I've reduced the inlet to the, the vacuum system, which increases the suction uh, of, the, of the system, and this is just right around the collet. So I can move this up and down to get it just level with the spindle here, which is a little bit of a pain whenever it comes to planning things out, but not really. It's just barely bigger than that spindle. And it just clamps on like that, and then I can pinch it in for a test. Like this. All right, let's test it out. This is what it looked like before. Look at that mountain of sawdust. So uh, this is what it looks like now. That's fantastic. I love it. So as you saw, it worked beautifully. Now here's um, the original, here's mine. I'm not gonna use this all the time. This is just for filming. This one works better most of the time. But one thing that's cool about this one is it's got these bolts in that attach to magnets on the other thing. And I've got the files here from them, from that one, so that I could do the same thing on this. All right, the screws added. Beautiful. There you have it. Beautiful. I mean, it's not perfect. Uh, when I use a much longer tool, it's not gonna help a ton. But for a lot of my profile cutting, like gears and fun stuff like that, this is gonna make filming so much easier. Um, I'll share the part on Thingiverse uh, down below. I guess. All right, see you next time. Bye.